Hello and welcome to my course on Milwaukee Battery Repair. I've been repairing these for a couple of years and I'm going to show you some of the diagnostic and repair techniques I picked up along the way. So if you have a few faulty batteries or just want the greater knowledge of battery technology, specifically Milwaukee in this case, this course is for you. Episode 8, Diagnosing Cell Imbalance. Welcome to episode 8 of my M18 Milwaukee battery repair course. In this episode, I will be showing you how I have identified that there's cell imbalance within this battery. First of all, I'll show you the testing methods that we use to establish what's coming out of the top of the battery. I use this uh, the small multimeter with the modified terminal so I don't have to open the battery to test it. It's come to 19.3 volts, 19.4 volts. So theoretically that should be enough to run on a Milwaukee tow of the M18 range. However, it does not. And if you check, it should be showing four bars, but it just shows a single flashing light. And if we try the charger, the charger shows me that it's, it says it's fully charged, which it isn't fully charged. If it was fully charged, it should be showing 20 volts or so. So we'll get this open and I'll show you what's wrong. I've already been in here and identified that there is cell imbalance. But I'll show you how I gained that knowledge. I've already been through what you do when you open a battery first and how you test it, the individual things. However, this is how you identify that there is cell imbalance. See there's no broken connections or anything like that going on. So what we have to do is we have to test the individual banks of cells. As I mentioned before, there's five banks of two. And you put your multimeter to DC voltage. And you can use the probes and go from one side to the other. And that's 4.11 volts in that bank of cells. And 4.11 that bank of cells. That's the second one down. And the third one. Hold up. 4.12 which is near enough. The same. No imbalance so far. 4.11. And that one. And if we get down to the very last bank of cells. This one. And we test that. We're getting 3.17. So that's quite a bit lower than the rest. I'm going to explain what that means. So when I put that battery in the charger, because these four banks of cells are fully charged, they stop the charger, the board stopped the charger from charging it any further. Therefore these set these are sitting about a volt lower than they should be and the battery's telling us it's fully charged whereas it's not because these are lagging behind these two are lagging behind and when I put it on a drill because the drill has detected these are below workable voltage they're, they're even below what the minimum workable voltage of these cells are it stops the power going to the drill so it stops it powering a tool as well. So that's why cell imbalance, cell balance across the board is so important. And that's why we need to remedy it. In conclusion, cell balance is one of the most important things your battery can have. And cell imbalance can stop it working at all. In this case, and in lesser cases can stop it performing to its optimal ability. I'm going to show you how to fix this in the next video. 
So tune in to that and thank you very much.